While it seems like just about every other game these days has zombies in it for the added cool factor, not every other game has plants. Which is precisely why PopCap's excellent Plants vs. Zombies is so darn likable. It's cute, catchy, funny, and unbelievably addictive. A glorified tower defense game, perhaps, but a very good one. As you harvest sunlight and plant various plants, flowers, and mushrooms to defend your house against waves of brain-eating zombies. Where the game is played primarily on the lower screen using the stylus, with the top screen delivering some information and comedic effect. And you've got to hand it to PopCap, their games are almost always universally playable on any game console. Whether it's PC, Xbox 360, iPad, or the Nintendo DS, Plants vs. Zombies rocks. And the same can be said for their excellent Peggle, Bejeweled, and Zuma. Fun games that work well no matter what you're playing them on. And while Plants vs. Zombies on the DS does not look as good as the 360 or the PC version, playing it with the Nintendo DS stylus feels just right. I'm taking a break here to create my own zombie. That looks about right. In addition to the adventure mode where you unlock a bunch of new plants, there's also a number of mini games like this one, the slot machine. Plants vs. Zombies game. There's also a versus mode where you can challenge a friend, but my favorite is just the good old straightforward tower defense adventure mode, which starts off a bit slow but really packs on the challenge and excitement as the game progresses. Give this one some time and it will challenge you. Now if you have no idea what's going on in this game, what you have to do is plant sunflowers initially to get sun especially at nighttime when there isn't any sun. So the sunflowers are like your generators in most other tower defense games, or your factories. And you use the sun that they create to buy new plants, some of which are defensive, like the walnuts. Others, like the cherry bomb, are offensive weapons. And as long as you have enough sun, you can build just about anything, so there's no problem. But later in the game, it becomes tricky as you have to leverage building sunflowers against building your weapons and defense, and that's where the strategy comes in, and that's why it's fun. Once the zombies start attacking you underwater and becoming airborne, things get tricky. And outfitting yourself correctly with the right weapons prior to each engagement is critical. The way that I normally play is by building a huge field of sunflowers, which gives me enough power to build just about any weapon whenever I need it. But this level is a good example of where I screw something up and don't plant enough defense early on. If a zombie gets to the far left of the screen twice, you lose the round. Which may not seem that bad until you get to some insane levels later on when it's, it's easy to miss something. Like the balloon riding zombies that hover over your defense. I hate them. But I love this game, and it's another excellent presentation of Plants vs. Zombies. You see, that was dumb. A lot of good it does to knock him down when I have no weapons to destroy him. And he just eats my cactus. Screw you, balloon zombie. Meet the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> 